Generic greetings and welcome to the tenants. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea, Earl Grey. Not very hot, but still very tasty. Either way, this is the tenants, a landlord and tenancy management simulator, which, to be fair, on the strength of that description, makes it sound absolutely dull as dishwater, but it really isn't, because although it does contain a lot of the more mundane elements of tenancy management, like collection of rent, paying of bills, fixing of boilers, etc., it also has a big creative element in it, where you don't build from the foundations up, but you will be placing walls, doors, and then putting down floor and wall coverings and then furnishing the place and naturally finding tenants and that also can include evicting tenants later on if they are not behaving. Either way it's a game I've played for about two and a bit hours now so still the first impressions but enough to get the game down and understand how it plays. This is version 0.52c which means that yes it's not finished it's in early access so the typical disclaimers do apply here. Nothing you see is final, everything is subject to change, obviously there may be bugs and certainly more stuff to add in the future. With all that said and done let's go to continue and we will take a look at the game. This is the save I've been playing for about two and a bit hours now, as I mentioned earlier there, and I should also point out that, as always, links are in the description so you can check the game out yourself. Anyway, a quick rundown through the UI. Top left, we have our avatar. I've went with person LARPing in a field dressed as an elf. We have our level, which is 15. You gain levels as you do jobs and just generally play the game, and the levels, the higher you go, will unlock more more stuff like so we're not just talking furniture but also like wall and floor coverings etc we have two properties and two tenants oh actually point out we have fifty six thousand and eight generic units of currency in the bank and uh, we have some objectives on the left hand side there so we've got things like paying for high stakes we need to reach a monthly cash flow of twelve thousand we're currently on three so <laughs> that's uh something we really need to work on and also do negotiations, which I'll check out in a moment. Time controls on the top right, as well as the city map. We are currently situated in the slums, which is a lovely place to take the kids on the weekend. We also have the suburbs, which I do not yet have the license. And then there's the Manhattan area, which is currently not in the game. So naturally, I haven't tried that. We also have our finances overview. This is where we can see the income from our properties and the tenants there. So Boring Lane, which is... I think that means 2-1. Is that... I would say, is that like flat one, 12 boring lane? I, I don't know how it's really said in this format, but either way, that's our uh, that's our property there. And then there's the tenant, which is Cindy Houston. So they are paying us 2,280 generic units of currency a month, which sounds really expensive, but I guess rent is. And then we also have the bills on the right-hand side, which we have to pay. We also have up here the player storage, which is basically stuff I've nicked from other apartments when I've been renovating them. Uh, we'll maybe come on to that later. We have our properties overview where we can quickly zip over and check this out. So this is the very first apartment that we got. So it is very, very basic indeed. It has a toilet and a toilet roll holder in I was gonna say the bathroom but yeah it's 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 just a WC really we have a bedroom which literally contains a bed although it's very very pink and then finally we have this sort of common room which looks like it's from an old uh, <laughs> an old club uh, it's yeah it, it's got this smell of nicotine and old pool hall scent by the look of it we've got this table football here on the left we have a green sofa on the right and that's uh, looking straight at not a vertical TV that is actually a refrigerator and we can also check out our other apartment which is actually a lot better this is the second one that I've got so we have a bathroom which is a lot more luxuriously laid out and fitted and why on earth the camera did that I do not know we have a you can see a shower cubicle there toilet nice little potted plant drying rack the bedroom is once again all kinds of pink but this person doesn't seem to mind and we've got like nightstands and things like that and then finally over here we have our sort of common area which has a little kitchenette with a stove and a sink and things like that and then finally a nice sitting area with a laptop so job done anyway that's what we currently have so not too bad at all and then we have our phone which allows you to check the player out so our levels and random loot boxes apparently and reviews on jobs we've done previously for different people we also have messages where you can talk to the different Residence, so you can see Esme there. We they currently had a problem with the boiler in this place was absolutely frozen, so we had to fix that, and we've done just that. So that will have it so that your um, your tenants, uh, they should point this thing here, by the way. Uh, you can see they have like a happiness. So if you treat them 
I don't want to. I don't want to use the term right because there's many different ways I think you can manage them. But yes, if you say are very very helpful as a landlord, so if they go, "My boiler's fixed," you can either tell them to put on a woolly jumper or say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a, a professional right away and send them," and then they obviously will get a happiness approval thing there. And I don't know if they pay you more later on, but maybe when it comes to negotiations, it will help out. I'm guessing if their happiness is really low, then they can maybe misbehave and it could be problematic. Anyway, I do have a task, so I'm going to go over here, and it does say, talk to your tenant to renegotiate their lease. So it says, negotiate a lease extension, and we can see I can make an offer or terminate the agreement. I'm going to say, this is can this be the rent here? So this is going to take a little bit of time to calculate, and they will say, actually, I want to be there. Well, you know what? I'm going to... Um, make another offer then see if we can come to a bit better one there yeah we'll do that so we will accept the current offer and there's that done so job done speaking of jobs let's pick up some jobs so i'm going to go over to our phone and then to jobs and there's several different types of jobs some of them are just a management role so it'll just be keep an eye on the tenant i'm out of town for a couple of days or something like that so for example i've got a couple of noisy tenants who are giving me a headache look for someone to help me take care of them that's got a budget there and then we've also got ones that would be to design things they were we're getting away for the holidays and would love to have our new apartment design done and ready as soon as we get back requirements is total makeover budget is 12,000 preferred uh, finishing guidelines preferred furniture and walls and uh, don't mind required furniture okay you know what we're going to accept that job and we will zoom over to said job and this is where instead of doing tenancy management stuff which can be a little bit I wouldn't say boring, but it is just run of the mill. You know, you're just talking to tenants, negotiating leases. Nothing that I would say is like personally overly exciting, but this is where it's at, where we're going to literally remodel this entire thing. So first things first, we will begin cleaning. We're going to send in a professional, which happens to be our uncle. So, you know, nepotism. And you can see they're going to start cleaning up. In this case, we've only got a little bit of a puddle there, I think, or yeah, something else. There may be something of spillage. And then over here, we can see we have this broken shower cube. I can either scrap it to get 125 generic units of currency or try to restore it, which is a 72% chance and it was restored. So that is good. And then obviously if we wanted to salvage it, aka put it in our storage, we can or we can just sell it. I'm going to sell it because I want that extra cash there. Speaking of cash, you can now see that on the left hand side we now have a budget. So 13,159. That's just went up because I've sold that there. Let me get the uncle out of the property because that is the cleanup part of it. And now we go to the renovation part of it. So this is where we get lots of options and basically have to build this entire thing. So obviously we've got at the bottom here all of our options for designing first tab is to build and remodel um, building is like literally walls as you can see there and that will put walls in you can also place in doors I'm going to probably just demolish all of that that that's that's the basically the only build option so it's very simple but it's enough to make separate rooms speaking of rooms we can obviously furnish them with uh, well, furniture but you can also put in different floor coverings and walls and uh, put in different doors it looks like there's already they've already got the basics in here so the walls and doors are in so there you go we can't alter the exterior and put windows in as far as i can tell anywhere and then finally we can uh, check out this here which is where we can finalize it you can see we have decor ratings so this is where we have to Make it as good as we possibly can. So on the top right, it shows us the required in the apartment there. So we need a bathroom, a bedroom, another bedroom, a kitchen, and that is it. So that is one, two, three, four rooms. One, two, three, four rooms. So I'm going to probably say make these two the bedroom because they are the same size. This as the bathroom and then this will be a kitchen over here followed by whatever we put in this area and obviously we have 12 grand in order to do this. So I'm going to go hang on a bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, yeah. And also preferred furniture is a chessboard, so we want to put a chessboard in. Right, so let's go ahead and put in I think we'll go for the bathroom first. So the bathroom says here, finish floors in laminate. I could search through here and just type in like laminate here and that like basically searches all the category laminate or then this is a really really good feature you can just click on it and it just highlights it i find that really really good and saves a lot of time so we're going to go with laminate you can see there are all different types of i was going to say different types of colors but the basically just variations of browns and beiges so hmm yeah i guess we're going to go with ah this is where we got a bit of a sticking point so the way rooms are graded is there's a couple of ways, but basically, the more cash you spend, the better is the overall takeaway, which 
I'm not too fond on. Um, it means that you basically, uh, choices removed from you. Well, you can choose to spend less, but then you are acknowledging that you will probably not get a great rating. Either way, you can see that this is automatically figured out that this is going to be our bathroom. So I could build it over here. I haven't told the game that this is going to be the bathroom and this is going to be the bedroom. It's just when, oh, actually, this is the bathroom. He's working on that. So that's how it works. Right, so bathtub, we can place in a bathtub. I'm going to go for probably a mid-range bathtub. So you click and hold to rotate and you can see it does have snapping. We're going to place in the corner there. There is our bathtub. It also wants a toilet and a bathroom sink, a washing machine, a laundry basket, and all that sort of good stuff. Let's go with a toilet in this corner. You can see I'm not buying the most expensive thing. Uh, let's see, a bathroom sink. Will that fit in there? That will fit nicely in there, but do I really want to go with... Actually, I prefer the bathroom sink to be there. That'll look quite nice, I think. Yeah, that looks quite nice. And we'll have a laundry basket, which can go, I guess, in this corner. Oh, and we also want a washing machine. A washing machine in the bathroom just sounds really... Weird. <laughs> yeah, put that there. Laundry basket. Have, say, that one in here. Toilet brush. We'll go there. Followed by toilet paper. We'll put that on the wall up here. <laughs> it's there for you if you need it. Um, yes, you can click on them and say move. And naturally, we will do just that. And we'll put it there, which is a bit better. Although probably someone's going to try and use it to grab grab rail and snap, just snap it off the wall. That's actually a bit low. It doesn't matter where we put it, by the way, as long as they're in, it does the job. And let's see, that is decor of a hundred. So we don't need to do any more in that bathroom. We may come back and put more stuff in, but for now, we're all right. Okay, so over to the bedrooms then. I'm going to do the walls in green. I'm not going to use that one because I don't think that is a very nice, a very nice one. So we'll have green in there and then we'll put the flooring in, which is carpet. We're going to go with green carpet. This other one is going to have in a gray wall, we'll have this color. And, you know, that's nice. That's job done. Followed by a grey carpet, which will be that one. Although that red one's a bit more interesting. A little bit cheaper, but it doesn't matter. So we want a double bed in the... Oh, I just need to make sure is this the right around. The... Ah, so one of them's wanting a bunk bed and one of them's wanting a double bed. So I have to make sure I've got it in the right one. So the green room, the green bedroom, requires a double bed. And there is actually a green double bed there. I, however, will on a four, four four poster. Yes, we've got we've got a four poster. If we really want to spend that much, I really don't. I'm gonna sort of buy mid range here. I'm gonna place it in about there. We need to place in a TV, which sadly on a DVD player and DVDs and paintings. Right. So I could spend a lot of money on that big TV, but I think that would be probably a bit too expensive so instead i'm going to go over to bedroom here and obviously we get all of these options for different things and i'm going to place that in here so i find that this the search function here is quite powerful well it's very simple to use but just works it just works um, and that's one of the best things you can really say about some of these things where it just works there's no messing around although dvd player i don't think is going to go on there and i assume you can't place a dvd player I can't place a TV on top of a DVD player. You cannot. You cannot. So, sadly, we're going to have to place the DVD player elsewhere. What I'll do is close that, go over to bedroom here, and place another sort of cabinet in that corner where we'll have the DVD player. And then I will search for DVDs. We'll have a stack of DVDs, which, again, you can't place on the top there. So, a bit of a mark against that, because that's that would be very... Very nice if we could place that there, which... Hang on, did it go green for a second? I'm sure it went green for a second. Or was it just when I was rotating it? Hmm, that's a shame. Oh, we can place it there, though. So, that is... Uh, that's okay. I guess technically we should put it spine on so we could see what we're watching. Okay, and then we need a painting. Um, That's quite a nice painting. Doesn't really fit the room, colour scheme-wise, but... There's a painting. Let's put it in the more... I mean, we could put it in these, these squares here, couldn't we? What I'll do is I'll sell that. And I'll go for... Oh, you know what? I think I will go for that. 
Mm. That would fit more in here a bit better though, wouldn't it? So I even ask, that's just want a painting, not a picture. Big difference. We'll just have that there. And then that there. Alright, check the rating. 100% job done. Moving over here now, but I am spending cash quite quick. Right, so bunk bed we will place in... Probably in this corner, why not? Make it a bit different. Strangely, that's weird. The bunk bed's got the ladders on that side, so I, even though I can I can place it there, right? So you can only get in, you know, you can only approach it one side. It still is a legal placement for that, but I, I don't think I've seen. I mean, that seems to be quite quite a strange concept that. This is obviously where you get in, because there's no, like, thing across it. But the ladder's that side. Surely it would be much more efficient, which the bunk beds I've seen... Which, to be fair, I'm not a connoisseur of bunk beds, I should point this out right now. Uh, it would be like that, but with a ladder on, like, one side. Hmm, curious. Anyway, over to desks then, and we'll place a desk in... I'd say about here, we'll just have a standard wooden desk, like so. And then a desk chair, which we'll go for... Probably this brown one, which will match it, which also has, it's like a bear on the back there. And then finally, we need a picture, which is, oh yeah, job done. Right, we have three grand in order to renovate the rest. We can use the arrows to minimize all of these if we wanted to, which I did want to, so I have done that. And we have to go with laminate flooring. So I'm going to go with probably this laminate flooring. Oh, that's a very 70s color. And a red wall, which... Will this... Well, that works. I'm also aware that it costs a small fortune. Oh, I was about to say, be very careful, though, because you can very, very easily do what I've just done there. So, which is mess it up. It is now fixed. Right. So here we are. Let's get rid of that. And we need fridge, sinks, cookers, kitchen cabinets. So kitchen cabinets, we've got different types here. We've got light kitchen cabinet. We've got uh, coker kitchen cabinet, night kitchen cabinet. And you can see it's in different... It goes like white, then blue, then grey. Brown kitchen, night kitchen. So they're all the same set. And I like the way that they are capitalised as well. So we're going to go with... For the money we have, I really can't go with a really I can't go with the really expensive stuff. So instead I will go with some kitchen cabinets here. It requires a kitchen sink. Which I always find works well right in front of there. So you can while you're washing up you can look out and daydream. And requires a cooker, which I'm gonna go with mid-range. And <laughs> the range is mid-range. Here all week. Uh I can go there. That can go there. That can go in there. And then finally, we need a fridge. Oh, we're very much out of cash. Okay, we're going to have to try and slim down on some of this stuff then. So, what am I going to have to do? I'm out of cash. I could probably change... Oh, look at that deco, it's poor there. So, I've run out of cash. So I can't I can afford a motivational poster. Never give up. So just as you come in, never give up. Alright. I think what I'll do is I'll work on the bathroom. I'll sell that and I'll sell that. And I'll put in a slightly cheaper bathtub. And a slightly cheaper sink, which to be fair, it's still good rating. At least it tells me it's good rating. So, fridge. I'm gonna go with... That's right in front of the window. I don't like that. Also, I don't like... Hmm. I like that where it was. I guess we could... Oh! We could move that right to that corner. Could move that here. Move that along. And then finally, for some reason it's not moving there. It's really problematic. There we go. Then we'll have this fridge in there. 
Don't know if that's reasonable, but that's what we've got. It says preferred furniture is a chess board, so we get bonuses for that. I only have, however, not much at all. So let's... Ch oh, we can't click on the chess board, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll search for chess. There we go, there's a chess board. I'm going to go to dining here. And... Some of these tables are not ideal. So, no, no. And the problem is that the you can't change the colours. That's one of the big downsides here. That we are just we are basically given what we're given. Oh, that's okay. So I'm gonna place that there. Move the chessboard on top, and yes, stuff does move with it. So it has that, which is quite good. And we have a sand chair. I think we'll put what we what we're on rating wise. Oh, really bad. Thirty two. I'll tell you what then. Furniture. Can all shift and place multiples. And what we are now. 32. What else can I get? I'm just going through furniture now to see what we can add that <laughs> would potentially increase the rating. Um, well, we can check, actually. We can click on that. Um, oh, look at that. Why is that deco only five? So, ah, uh, wall plants, small plants, and big plants would knock that rating up. Same as the plants for here. Yeah. Five, though. And if you had a rug, it would knock it up. So I think what's happened is I've overspent a little bit. I've overspent. This is one of the things I mentioned about um, the game where you, if you spend more, generally increases the um, rating, but also the the decor score. So plants, basically. So, I mean, oops. That's not what I meant to click. I was going to... Uh... <laughs> I was going to go back, but I've accidentally clicked on deliver job. So what's going to happen now is the, I guess it would be the the client, I guess. Is this the client? Or is it like a, a third party that's reviewing it for them? And That's an earthquake. The aftershock. I That's that's new. I've not experienced that before. Uh, we've got some bills to pay here, which I will duly pay for the tenants. I don't know why we have to pay them, but there you are. And we're currently on negative cash flow. Brilliant. You can see they're going along, checking all this out, and let's see what rating we get. Let's go ahead also while they're doing that and check out jobs. By the way, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to focus on this. We could have picked up all the jobs and moved on. It's, uh, it's something we can come back to. And uh, looks like there are efforts there. So you can see required furniture, cheap furniture used, uh, light kitchen cabinet, and also the vase of Narcissus. Don't think we used any vases. But whatever. Uh, we also... Items could be more fashionable. Flat screen TV. So you're fighting within the confines of what they are asking you to do. The budget given. You know. And also the decor rating as well. But we've got good preferred furniture. Apparently flaws is no issues. Decor is no issues. First impressions is a bit low. And overall five stars. And we've got a bonus. Uh, we do have a couple of messages. So... You've got to help me. During the recent earthquake, a few walls got damaged and I don't know what to do. I'm going to send in my uncle right away. So the uncle stuff is basically you do it manually. So let's go ahead and repair this. This is something I've not experienced. So it's nice to see that extra elements are already being introduced to me, even to two and a bit hours into the game. So I'm just going to get uncle to go and repair that. And that shouldn't be a problem. Although we've got a crack in the, the window and the wall. But that is now done. I will move on that. So it says, that went smoothly. Thanks for the quick reaction. No problem. And I'm going to guess, yep, we've got also uh, Cindy doing the same thing, uh, having the same problem. So let's go ahead and repair all of these walls. I'm assuming that normally with these load-bearing exterior walls, we'd have to have a full structural uh, assessment from a qualified structural engineer. But... Uh, we don't need to do that. We just send a send in a good old bloke who knows what he's doing because he's been doing it for 60 years. He doesn't need none of those fancy fancy <laughs> diplomas. He's got uh, he's got a degree from the School of Hard Knocks in life, so he knows what he's doing. 
just paint over the cracks have a load bearing plane of glass there that should be fine and yes that went smoothly thank you very much no problem at all and also now someone wants to oh, they want to yeah negotiate the lease so i guess we'll do that so negotiate lease extension make an offer see what they go to actually we're going to go for 60 days and let's say make an offer there and uh, they moved up let's accept the current offer so job done right so those are the two messages we've dealt with yeah that's fine let's check out our jobs so actor required for a small renovation job kitchen and dining room we've got a couple of noisy tenants let's check out these noisy tenants here so take care of the current uh, the tenants needs so the camera does like to do some weird things at times so here's the tenants there so we may end up getting a call about these tenants so i can just walk away i don't need to look at that you can have multiple jobs on the go Here's a need a new bathroom in the unit. Let's accept that. It's going to be hopefully a fairly easy job. And let's cowboy build this thing up. So let's use all the cheapest materials, second and the lot. So inside we need, uh, it says blue or red. I'm going to go with probably red, even though that's more of a, I guess it's in more of an orangey red, but I quite like the colour of it. It's like a almost pink grapefruit type stuff and then it wants laminate or stone that stone should look nice oh yeah that looks nice do like the look at that it says a bathtub or a shower cabin we're gonna go with why not both so one can go in there and the other if we wanted to can go in there can we put it in that side we probably could but i'm not going to but i'll need mm, i need a sink and a toilet and yeah maybe i won't do all of that we will have a I'll tell you what move this over to there we will have a toilet well there's a fancy toilet we have a better toilet these days than we did previously a fancy toilet in here followed by a toilet brush fancy toilet brush i should point out toilet paper there's a stand a floor standing toilet paper holder and then a bathroom sink which will go in about the middle. It says a wall pan plant and a wall clock. So we'll type in wall. And we've got a wall clock, which I'll place in... I'm going to say place in there. Alright. And then we've got wall plants. Which I very much like the idea of them being on both sides. Yeah, I quite like that. I actually quite like that. And let's put a mirror in. It's, they've not asked for it, but they've got the budget for it. So I may as well spend some of this. I mean, I could afford a shower, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. Move that over there. Put in a shower cubicle. I mean, we, should, we should really just pocket the profits and move on, shouldn't we? What's the decor like? 100%. Eh, it's going to come in under budget. Let's do it. Deliver job. And they're going to come in. And apparently they're assessing it from the other side of the room. They are that good. And they're also questioning my decisions. What about a mirror? I didn't ask for a mirror, they're going to say. But they are surprised. Maybe they <laughs> they looked at their reflection. No, that's that's judging them too harshly. Uh, let's have a quick look. Messages. Good day, Generickson. Hope this message finds you well. I was supposed to contact you. It seems to be a new person in charge. I really like my landlord. So no pressure. Ha ha ha. Have a nice day. From Lauren Reed. We've leveled up. We've got more plants, more TVs, more just bricks and other things like that. And our rating for the previous job is... Oh, not very good. No issues there. Walls. No issues category ignored. I don't know how we got category ignored. Oh, it just means it's not rating it. So why is first impressions only two? Hmm. I have no idea. Either way, that's what it is. Right. One more job, and we'll call it there. Oh. Something's gone... Uh, something's gone in the fuse box. I'll send a pro in. Let's have a quick look. Here's the noisy tenants in. Oh, yeah, that is definitely arcing and sparking. Did you smile today? It's your time to shine. Never give up. And a fuse box. And this room here... What is going on in this place? We've got a bed, a couple of storage options there huge tv looks like loads of dvds and well there's a six foot 
anime statue, and an assault rifle on the wall. Let's just pick up another job, shall we? So, design a pretty functional kitchen for me. Oh, and what's this one? Looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment that fits our needs. High difficulty. Professional job. We're going to go with... Open house for my apartments. Only serious responses, please. Oh, open house. Oh, okay. So this is another part of the game where you basically are looking for... Looking for people. Oh, that is a lovely apartment. Isn't it? That is much better than anything I have. So, we are going to check this out. In the centre, we've got loads of gambling. Yeah, we've got, we got roulette. We've got <laughs> some card games here. We've got some pool. That looks to be a server room with a gun rack and loads of CCTV. Don't know what sort of apartment this is, but yeah. We've got a, a bedroom with an ensuite. We've got what appears to be a kitchenette that leads out to... Okay, leads out quite far, actually. I don't know why the camera keeps do doing that, but it is a bit of a problem. To what looks to be a shooting range. What is... I don't know what's more disturbing. The fact that there seems to be a shooting range on a balcony that's made of wood, which, even if you hit it, the bullet would probably still sail straight across and start nailing people in these very thin... <laughs> these very thin mobile homes. That's assuming you even hit. If you miss, then, well, you're taking out your neighbours. That can't be legal. Speaking of legal, I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's not baking powder. And the brewing as well. Brilliant! So, let's just get on with the job and walk away before we end up either being... <laughs> We're either going to be in the dock with the client or in the witness box putting them away. So, there's, <laughs> there's no way around that. Um, so, requirements is no criminal history. <laughs> so, these are the two people here that have just come in. So, we have Catelyn Snyder and we can see that they are personality of gamer and occupation is barman. They... Uh, wanting a person between 31 and 57 years old, so they're 34, so they uh, that's okay for the, that person. This one is, this person's 44, so both of them are okay in terms of, um, for uh, these requirements. However, I do need to do a background check for both of them, which costs us money, but I think it is worth doing because if the background check comes with, oh yes, they've previously, previously had um, 10 counts of arson or something. And what's this? Problem with my electrical equipment. I'm going to send a pro in. I don't have time to, to deal with that. This is where we're now juggling lots of balls. Oh, hang on a second. So, Catelyn Carson. Hang on. Catelyn Carson, where are they? Linda Woods and Ka Caitlin Snyder. No, there they are. Catelyn Carson. Criminal history... Degree felony, third degree felony, felony type assault and battery, third degree felony, felony type pornography, degree of felony, third degree felony, arson. <laughs> even joked about that. Don't know why I'm laughing at arson. Uh, their debt is over half a million quid. So, Catelyn Carson, I'm going to ask them to leave. Go away, please. We've also got another person here who is age 52, so they're still within the uh, remit for this thing. So I've told the other person to leave. Ka uh, Caitlin Snyder here. Uh, she's at the back. And yeah, she uh, she does have debt. She does have debt. See that? So 356,868. Uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of debt. But the other person here, which is Linda, she has no debt. Okay. But the requirements was not... I don't really care about debt. It just says no criminal history. So neither of them have a criminal record. And the difference is that Linda Woods thinks the apartment is fine and has a salary of 93 grand. Whereas Caitlin has a salary of 92 grand but thinks it's exceptional. So I'm going to negotiate with this client and make an offer... And let's see where they come with this. I need to unpause it for them to do that. 
and they've come there I will I'll just accept that offer because that seems to be a reasonable offer and that is basically your requirement so uh, rooms to rent unlocked what's better than just one tent in your apartment two or more yes yeah, so you can do like flat sharing basically and heat to stop working send the pro in and fix that yes and thanks now I can walk without a scarf yeah, I'm going to guess a review. Hopefully come in shortly for this. Wait for the client review. Any second now we should get this client review. Any second? No? No? Okay. Finances. Let's pay the bills. And, oh, Cindy. Let me pause a second. Oh, there you go. We got four out of five stars for that. So, we did the job. Oh, we have an elite contract here. I'm looking for someone willing to come over and build a perfect cabin for the best captain. I'll accept that in a second. But, what I've also noticed is... Cindy. I'm afraid she's in debt. Let's manage that and pull, just politely remind that she is in debt. You know, she hasn't paid the bills. So you have to keep on top of these things. Anyway, what was this I mentioned? This is an elite contract. It's it's like a special kind that you get. And you can see that we are... Well, we've been asked to work on here. And this is, strangely, where we have to clean up old pirate treasure. <laughs> which is full of gold coins. So we'll clean all this up. So this is... Yeah, a bit different from the other stuff, and this is actually where I got... Oh, I'm repairing that chest there. It's where I got some of this stuff here, like the antique desk. So, yeah, I guess we can um, maybe put that in there. Those being cleaned, and I'm going to add to salvage. There you go. And we now got this chest, although, it's, to be fair, it's not worth that much. And what's this other thing that's popped up? Review. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought that this job here was the one we've just done, but no, it's this one here. So I didn't know my tenant, Lauren Reed, could smile better than I could have imagined. Was it that one? I'm not too sure. Either way, it's a five star rating, so that's good on our part. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll get that right away. So okay. So it looks like Cindy's gonna gonna play a ball and pay us what's owed. So yeah, this is where we're gonna do gonna do this. Um, place up so yeah it's straight away let's just let's not mess around let's just get it done it won't take too long i'm just going to try and speed run it and just see how fast i can make this thing so captain's desk we can place in here we'll place a captain's chair right next to it a gramophone can go on this as well so right in front of them we need a wine rack which can go next to them there that is fine a barrel we'll use a large one i'm looking at the top there to see the budget and the budget seems to be quite good there's a nice antique clock which i think i'll put in probably this corner and boat decorations also a treasure map nice treasure map there oh right in front of them that look cool yeah i like that boat decorations we've got all manner of things. A little bell. So when they come in, they can ring that. We've got a... Does it say telescope? Spyglass. Yeah. Look out of the window. This seems to be strange. We've got a lot of cash for not... Like, I don't know why we've got so much cash. I'm looking through here to see if there's anything like interesting that I could place. Ah, here we go. This is special... Is there anything special in here? Not entirely sure the captain would appreciate that. Mm, not seeing anything. Anyway, we'll continue. And like that. Little chest can go in there. And they're wanting a shelf. Which that seems to be about fitting for this one see that would technically be rated as high decor is 100 percent so let's let's actually leave that i would normally want to do a little bit more on that i would put in some carpet okay there's the captain coming in who yeah literally has a captain's hat on i think they have a pipe corn cob naturally and a parrot on the shoulder hmm yeah i would like to put in a like a big sort of rug in the middle maybe even some books on the shelves and just do a little bit more but i'm sort of speeding through just to get it done basically just to see what the review would be so we'll put it to max speed and let them crack on 
and we'll see what this is like. Looks like they loved the last part of it there. And yeah, five stars. Really liked it. Job done. Okay, I think that is pretty much all I really need to show you of the game. That's a bit of the tenant. So overall, very much enjoying. And I can see, very much see the appeal. It's, I believe, by the same people that did House Flipper, which I've played and displayed many a time. And it has a similar theme, but very different tone. Obviously, there's a lot more management side of it here that you're having to, uh, to keep an eye on. And also the creative side as well, which is one of the things that most interests me. I'm I'm not concerned, but I don't... The fact that you've got only, like, very... You've only got one colour for certain things. It would be nice to pick between different patterns and then the colours, but obviously that's a choice that they have uh, not made. They've went with a more uh, simple approach, which is fair enough. I would very much prefer to be able to select... A lot more of it will have a lot more variation but to be fair you do unlock stuff as you progress on so maybe it's just a time thing this is only your first impressions as i said so maybe later on you do get a lot more options having to spend more money to get uh, a, a generally anyway a better rating is something i'm not a big fan of but i don't know what else you would want to do with it would you have to then have say a client that prefers certain colors you know has different decor opinions so whether you'd have to have clients are like more traditional or retro or very minimalist styles but then that means adding more categories and thing to worry about so again i guess having the metric of just spend more cash is an easy way about it um in terms of look of the game obviously it's not the uh, most high fidelity in fact i would go say it's uh, the opposite of that but it is it does have its own charm and such and Overall, I am enjoying. I do want to buy some more property and keep playing, but I also don't have the required cash. So we're just doing a lot of these jobs. I can see the jobs, especially the management side, getting very, very uh, boring at times, actually. Charged and collected. Oh, monthly installment for my, uh, for, my, for my loan. Yeah, I can see the management side getting quite boring, especially when you're doing it for other people. If it's... If it's your own stuff, I find that I've got a personal stake in it, which is a bit more a bit more engaging, I find. But it is what it is. You might find the hiring and firing and all of the um, eviction stuff <laughs> to be uh, quite interesting in managing that. But it just depends on where you're coming from. I'm coming in from really enjoying the building side of it. So hopefully we'll get more of that in the future. And obviously we'll have to check out oh, what's going on here. This is a... Wonder if you could upgrade the internet or TV subscription. So, sure, why not? So, I guess that's it. We just we just paid more. Yeah, that's that that's a thing. So, job done. Either way, like I said, I like what I see for first impressions. Um, very much enjoying. Um, hopefully, we'll be playing some more and getting to the next part of the game and moving into maybe into the suburbs don't know what they're going to do in terms of extra content and such all of that i'm guessing will be chopping and changed as the the game evolves and such so we will just have to see either way if you like what you see then by all means let me know in the comments if you would have done anything different would like to hear that as well and if you want to see more then by all means let me know in the comments as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings